If you're thinking I want a hollow body guitar that's made properly, that costs under a grand, this is probably it. What impressed me about this guitar is, normally with some of these tops, they're sort of heated and pressed, and uh, that forms a shape. Nothing wrong with that, it's sort of done with plies and laminates. This isn't, this is like a violin top, so it's all carved on the inside and the outside and stuck on, so it's a maple top, mahogany body, mahogany neck, properly made, long neck joint. I mean, it's bound, the neck's bound. It's pretty awesome. It's along the lines of a Gibson 339 or Fender Starcaster. It's got a slightly angled headstock, not too angled, so, I mean, if you drop it, the neck's probably gonna break, but it's enough so the strings don't get caught, but you don't need a string tree. Absolutely love that. Wilkinson tuners, soft C neck profile, 10 inch fretboard radius, rosewood fretboard, 25 and a half inch scale length, and 22 frets. It's got a really nice heel joint, so if you are doing some fancy stuff, you can go right at the dusty end. In fact, that's really easy to get to. So it's really comfortable to play, which is quite handy. The pickups. These are the Fret King 55 double coils, humbuckers. They've got Alnico 5 Magnix 42 gauge wire. They've got nickel covers and base plates. If you've seen my tone tests, just gives them more clarity. We'll have a sound in a second. These are sort of like your 50s path type thing. They're wax potted, they're lovely. Um, let's have a listen to the neck pickup. So I wanna show you, so it's got master volume, master tone, and it's got something called a vary coil. So it goes from the full humbucker to a single coil, but with a knob so you can blend from anything. This is the neck humbucker, which sounds like this. <laughs> Can blend anything from the humbucker to the single coil sound. I'll give you the single coil sound anyway. I mean, there's sort of infinite variations, but then you get an idea of the two extremes and you get anything between those. Same thing on the neck single coil. nice and clear. In fact, I'm just going to put a dri bit of drive on that because that's incredibly clear. I'm going to go uh, very coil all the way. I don't know if it's off or on, but so it's like a humbucker because I bet with a bit of drive you'd still get clarity and no muddiness, especially with the nickel covers. <laughs> position sounds like this and then you can press this this is a push push not, not a push pull so Oh, I love that. So that makes it out of phase. Gonna do the same thing, but out of phase. <laughs> probably get the woman tone actually if you run the roll the tone all the way down I'm just gonna put a load more drive on it and you know see what it sounds like <laughs> so that would be really cool as like a song intro it just gives you another variation then you can kick to the uh bridge humbucker and Oh, that's got some tones. I'm just gonna go a bit less drive. Uh, I'll go a bit clean just I think it's better for demos. So bridge, clean, 
Uh, just roll the tone down a bit because you could probably do some rhythm on that. This is the Fret King Elise Custom. Under a thousand pounds, Wilkinson hardware, really good sounding humbuckers actually, binding everywhere, double binding, front and back, really good sounding pickups. What I like about Fret King is, they design it so that if you just take one guitar with you, this is sort of aimed for people who are, you know, pros, if you're gonna do a gig, you need one guitar, right? So you've got your humbucker sound, and then you've got this vary coil, so you can have your single coil sound, but you've also got any sound between that. You've got your out of phase setting, and that tone and volume, everyone's got that. It just does everything, it's one guitar. So if you're jumping on a plane going between venues, one guitar. Oh, it also comes with a case. I mean, you probably want a hard case if you're getting on a plane, but they come with a, it's a soft case, but it's really padded. Like, I mean, it's better than, I don't know if I've got a better soft case than this. It's not like a mono case, but they cost like 200, but this, it's really thick. I, kind of a little bit tempted to put it in the bag and push it over but if it does break I've got to send this back so it's a bit unfair that'd be funny I did a test and it broke but it's got a really good gig bag especially if you if you weren't going on a floor or you could keep this with you you know you can smash it into all sorts of stuff and not worry it's a it's a proper bag not like <laughs> don't mean to drop other brands in it I mean this is a Fazley one that's unfair it's a 200 pound guitar but that that's a nice gig bag Maybe I'll send the guitar back and keep that. <laughs> so you've got a properly made guitar with a long tenon neck joint, proper carved top, like a violin top, mahogany body, maple top, <sighs> Wilkinson parts, amazing sounding pickups and properly made pickups. So they don't sound muffled when you put a brass cover on them. This is nickel, so it sounds fantastic. What more could you want? Leave a comment, let me know what you think. It sounds really good. I'm gonna have another little play off that. I was actually getting quite into that. I've actually reviewed a few Fret King guitars now, and here's a video on the Fret King Corona Custom. It's like a Strat, but it's got a humbucker in the bridge, like a Strat single coil in the middle, but a P90 in the neck. The variations from that guitar are unreal, but that's the whole Fret King thing. You know, one guitar, it can do all the sounds. So if you go to a gig, you take one guitar, or even if you're at home, you can just get every sound from one guitar.